lamb biryani fit for a king this is absolutely marvelous takes a little time to cook of course but the result is so 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 worth it we've got some lovely leg of lamb in there rice an abundance of different spices it's really delicious welcome back to how to cook great so i've got one kg of lamb there that's 2.2 pound that lovely big bowl of lamb cut in kind of nice big chunks a little bit of fat on it there's some bone in there it's actually leg of lamb that's been chopped you can use a different part if you want we've then got one cup of onion two cups of tomatoes one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste and then here i've got two teaspoons of cumin seeds a couple of dried red chili and in there maybe a teaspoon or so of black pepper corns and just in there just a few cloves and then what we've got here two teaspoons each always call this the big four we've got turmeric chili coriander and here we've got cumin then let me not forget look there's one bay leaf there that we're going to add in as well i'm also going to add in a few fresh chilies to this water and some salt let's get moving okay so in there i've got some oil i'm using a sunflower oil about three tablespoons we're going to drop that bay in and then we've dropped in there the cumin cloves black pepper and the cumin if you want you could be adding some cardamom to this green or black up to you or some other whole sort of spices what we're going to do is get our meat and it's going to go in there now now you can see that this is quite chunky cut and what i'm going to do for about six minutes on this medium heat is just throw this around in the pan and get a little bit of color on the outside now you can see i've got some lovely color happening there it's not cooked obviously on the center but looking beautiful isn't it right now let's get some salt in there let's get a cup of onions in the mix slice my ones you can just chop them really small if you want fresh chili that i didn't show you earlier it's optional how much you want to put in and we're going to go now for another four minutes really fantastic now i've got here one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste which is a mix of the two if you're regular to the show you know that we use tons of this here you can make it yourself like we do because we use so much of it or you can buy it in most supermarkets i mean depending on where you live you can buy it in a jar really fab we're now going to go with a couple of cups of tomatoes in they go cut small now cut them small and try and use a nice juicy ripe tomato we're going to go for five or six more minutes now i'm going to be stirring it fairly often i want those tomatoes to break down and they will because this is quite a juicy one give off some moisture i'll see you then okay look i've got loads and loads of moisture from my tomatoes if you didn't don't panic just get some water in there and get it roughly to this consistency next up we're going to go with some spices so here we go chili turmeric cumin coriander two teaspoons each you can if you want just use a curry powder i just prefer the individual spices but yeah if you've got a decent curry powder then go with that i bought some lovely curry powder recently i've just seen Mumbai in India and I bought some fantastic curry powder so I'm not anti curry powder so I bought some stuff there which was beautiful but yeah individual spices is kind of where I normally go go with okay I'm going to put the heat on low now really quite low nice simmer I'm going to let this go for about 20 minutes now if it gets a little dry I'm going to add water to it beautiful okay 
that looks beautiful now I did add a little bit more water just like a cup of water as it cooks through off goes the heat we're now going to add coriander or cilantro chopped and then I'm going to add you can add sultanas or raisins or something like that I'm going to get them in the mix give it a nice sweetness and then here I've got some I'm going to do a nice big pinch or two of garam masala powder which is a beautiful finishing powder check that for salt it's going to be good for me we're going to give that a mix that's done that is beautiful we can move on now that is really super fabulous silky smooth and that meat is really nice and tender okay so our lamb curry is done set that aside we're now going to do our rice now what i've got here is three cups of rice i'm using a basmati rice six cups of water so double the amount of water to the rice i've cleaned it through a few times rinsed it through and then added the water we're going to add some salt and then i'm going to add all of these spices this you can buy this is a whole garam masala you can buy it in a packet like that it's just a mixture of all of those things so there's cinnamon in there black pepper in there there's green cardamom cloves there's a few other bits there might be some fennel seeds in there in that goes on goes the heat now what's important is we're going to cook this rice only until it's 75 percent done so we need it to have a little bite in it a little kind of click when you bite it you get a little kind of click or kind of al dente so that's it it's probably going to take about just about seven minutes or so okay so there you go so you can see roughly in volume we've got about the same as the meat and the rice and that rice like I say has got a little click on it 75 percent done yeah it's definitely got a little bite on it let's move on okay we're going to build this now so I just want to show you a couple of things obviously you've seen our meat that we've just cooked the lamb the rice 75 percent cooked here optional I've got some dry fried onions you can do these yourself or you can buy them and then here I've got cilantro or coriander in there now you can see the pan I've already put a little bit of the meat in we're now going to get some rice in there and don't press the rice down kind of keep it as loose as you can you know don't be pushing it down in there then i'm going to go with some onions the dry fried onions a little bit of coriander you could put fresh mint in if you want and i'm going to repeat that process and end up with rice on the top okay so we've done that ended up with rice on the top now what I've got here is some turmeric I've got like a teaspoon of turmeric in some water I'm just gonna flash a little bit of this over the top and where it lands it will stain and color some of that rice you can do this with a red coloring if you want or a green coloring sometimes you'll see that but I'm just going with turmeric today and of course if you've got a few quid you could be using some saffron but that's great that's really really good okay to the cooker okay so what I've got here is a roasting tin like an oven roasting tin a metal one or you could use like a flat griddle or something the reason I'm putting that on is because we're going to put the biryani pot on that so the flame is not on the bottom of the biryani pot you've got kind of a shield there so you can see that I've put the lid on now this lid is it's too loose and it's got a hole in it so traditionally when you make biryani they would make a a pastry just a sort of water and flour thing and they would put it all around the edge here and then squeeze that on you know and seal it that way but we can do it with a tea towel or a cloth or something like that which is what we're going to do so what I've done is I've put a tea towel there now some people would actually moisten this you could put it in water and wring it out this is actually dry but if you want you could like I say rinse it through some water wring it and then put it on so it's kind of moist now that's made the lid much tighter it kind of fits in there now and obviously we no need to cover that hole 
because the cloth's there. Right, the heat's gonna go on low, nice simmer, and it's gonna go on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, off goes the heat, you can see it's been steaming out there. Off comes the lid, off comes the cloth. That is beautiful. Let me get that on a plate. Okay, there you go, plated up. That is a lamb or mutton biryani, fit for a king. Now I've served that, a little bit of cilantro and the dried onions on top, tomato, and then that's a garlic pickle. You could use a mango pickle or something. I like a little pickle there. And some yogurt, when I'm eating that, some yogurt or curd in the mix, fabulous. I hope you enjoy that. You keep safe, you keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tugalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.